Hi there everybody, this is Master Joe. We're going to review all the vintage G.I. figures. Today we look at this 1989 Deep Six. Deep Six has a very kind of a ratchet looking and he is a tribute to the 1950s and 60s Deep Diver figure that is a 12 inch. And this Deep Six is from the 1989 and this one is the second version of Deep Six. The first version is from the 1984 and this figure is the driver of the shark. And this figure has a very limited articulation, only the arms can lift up and Okay, pull down. So this we're going to review in the future. And also this second version with a uh, lot of articulations. Also, uh, the color is brighter, but don't worry about it because in the deep sea, everything is dark. So no matter your helmet is red or even the green or yellow, people cannot see you there. And also in the year 1992, there is the third version with another dolphin pet. And this one is even brighter color. This is also Deep Six. And also in the later year, there is a fourth version of Deep Six also. So Deep Six, why Deep Six? Deep Six is a nautical expression. Okay, when you measure the depth of the water, so a deep one is one fathom. One fathom is six feet. So Deep Six is 36 feet. That is a measurement of the depth of the water. And also Deep Six has a medical meaning. It means give up. It means cancel. So just like the mission was Deep Six, which means the mission was canceled. So whenever the Cobra meet Deep Six, which means their mission have to be canceled. So this figure has a lot of beautiful accessory with one harpoon gun, a backpack, and a buoy here. And also this helmet is removable. We're going to see this figure later on. So before that, we're going to reach his file card to see some information about this guy. All right, so here is a file card. His code name is Deep Six. We know that Deep Six means give up, cancel. And he's a deep sea diver. His file name is Willoughby Malcolm. And his primary military specialty is Master Diver. And his second military specialty is Underwater Demolition Instructor. His birthplace is Baltimore, Maryland. And uh, I just live in a place just like uh, a, an hour and 30 minutes drive from uh, Baltimore. And we know that in Baltimore, there is aquarium, which is the largest aquarium in the east of America. And so no wonder he is the deep sea diver because he can go to the aquarium a lot. All right, so uh, always a loner and an individualist. Deep Six rarely talks to his G.I. Joe teammates and barely remember their code names. No matter what you are, uh, rock and roll or snake eyes, he just cannot remember your code name. And his loyalty to the organization is unquestionable. He has recently given up crossword puzzles and uh, bottle cap collecting to devote his off-duty hours to recording and studying uh, whale sounds. He is a qualified underwater demolition instructor and an avid supporter of public television. And Cobra is always coming up with new underwater specialists, none of which can fit Deep Six flippers, just like you cannot fit in the Cinderella's crystal shoes. And he is the only one can fit in the crystal shoes. And it seriously cut down the efficiency if, while sabotaging offshore drilling platform or trans-oceans cables, Cobra divers have to constantly look over their shoulders to make sure that Deep Six isn't sticking up behind them to cut their air hoses. Well, let's look at the figure here. And this is a very cool looking figure and he got a lot of accessories on him. So let's see them each next to the first is this harpoon gun. And this one is a little bit tiny, weeny weapon here with a scope here. So usually when you uh, fight under the water, you don't need this uh, scope. So I believe he will just use this weapon also on the land. And also we can see from here, it is a harpoon that you can use under the water. We know that there are a lot of fighters on the Cobra's team, like eels, like a Hydro Viper. They also have harpoon gun. So when you fight under the water, this weapon is very necessary. That is a very sturdy weapon. So the next accessory is this helmet. And actually, you know, uh, this helmet, this part is uh, the glass. He can see uh, through this glass to the outside. And this part is not painting. And actually, you can just paint it to the silver color, which is much cooler. And it's also a match to his metal boots here. Okay, it's a very easy job to do. And also, this helmet can remove. And uh, all right, we can see there are some details on his helmet. And actually, this helmet is more like a modern-looking helmet. It's not like the Mark V, which is a vintage helmet. And it's very popular and famous. Okay. And the next accessory is this buoy, which is connected to his 
air tank here, which is uh, actually uh, not really necessary because you know uh, the buoy is a mark. You know will just uh, float on the surface of the water, so the chopper and your teammate can know where to pick you up. Which we can just imagine this is a rope. Well, you know, usually the boy's color is a red or some brighter color, and this one is gray. Maybe some secret mission. They don't want the enemies to see where is deep six. The boy is connected to this、uh, six-inch hose to his backpack here. Okay. All right. So the next is this、uh, air tank. Okay. There are so many details. Like say, there are some gauges here, and also there is a knife molded here, so he can fight under the water with this little dagger. Okay, and also、uh, when you put on this backpack, the knife will be、uh, at this bottom part, so he, you can just connect his buoy on the top, just like this. Okay. All right, and so let's look at the figure here. And this head with the red hair here, and also the red eyebrow and red eyes. Well, it is kind of weird. Just remind me of the red eye flight. Did you take the red eye flight a lot? Actually, we can see in the 1984 figure, this fish is much younger. So after just five years, he has been through a lot of war. Seems that. All right, and here this head can go back and forth, can rotate, and also can tilt to the side because there is a bow joint inside of there. And this is a large piece which will connect it to his. Helmet here, and it is a very nice protection to his upper body because a lot of important organs is in this upper body, like your heart, your lung. All right, all right. So、uh, his arms, there are some details, and this is a hose, and it is very nicely painted with silver color. And here is a device. I believe he can read under the water for his、uh, personal status. And also, this middle part, this crouch, and is a、uh, kind of sturdy. It's very strong, not easily broken. And around his belt here, there is one, two, three, four, four pocket. I believe we're putting some metal plate here, so it can help him to dive into the water. And same here in this part. And also, you can see he's wearing a metal boots. So when he is diving, this metal boots is very necessary to help him to dive into the water. And also on his right leg, there is a knife here. There are one, two, two more pockets here, and the color of this figure's uniform is more like an aqua color, the water color, and also a little bit green here. So、uh, we can see on the card, and this color is more like a green at the bottom part, this black here, which is nice camouflage under the water because you know that there's a lot of seaweed under the water. So with that, you can be a seaweed under the water. Let's see the articulation. The head can go back and forth, rotate, tilt a little bit. Arm can rotate、uh, here, can bend a little bit, can swivel, and this torso can twist, can go back and forth, no problem. Can tilt to the side, and the legs go up, knee bend down, no problem. Okay, so let's put on his accessories. First is this helmet, as he throw it on, and then is this gun here, this harpoon gun. All right, and then is this backpack here. Okay, and last but not least is this. Boy, let's throw it on his back. Whoosh. All right, so this is a figure Deep Six, and actually、uh, this second version didn't make any、uh, comic books appearance, and also not in the animated series. And actually, this one is not really popular by a lot of collectors. And、uh, but you know,、uh, like his helmet and his whole body is covered with this uniform, and、uh, you can move out his head to install another head, like a Duke, like Flint,、uh, even Snake Eye, because he's you cannot see his.、Uh, A hand here, so you can just army build your figure with different head here. You can have your own deep water army build, and、uh, I think it's really worth buying. And you can army build this figure. Well, thank you so much for watching. And if you like today's video, please press like and subscribe to my channel because your like and your comment and your subscribe are really my motivation to make more of these videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.